Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're looking at me and wondering what is going on, this is definitely a look that you guys have not seen before. What is that? Trust me when I say it, there is a good reason for that. I just got out of the shower a few minutes ago and have not done anything to my hair yet and really wanted to show you guys what my natural hair actually looks like before I style it, curl it, and like just get it ready to go for like full James Charles mode. And uh, as you can see, the <laughs> it's really awful. <laughs> very Dora the Explorer, very Edna Mode vibes. And you know, it's 2021 now, new year. Oh, I just spilled my coffee. It's okay, I'll fix it. In the bathroom in the morning, it usually takes you around 10 to 20 minutes every single day to style, curl, like judge it all up and get ready to go for like full on James Charles mode. And in the end, I usually like how it looks. However, my hair is like my absolute biggest source of confidence. And there are still so many days where I just feel so ugly because my hair didn't look the way that I wanted to. It's not laying the right way. Obviously last year, I bleached my hair for the first time, which was a major, major mistake. And when I did that video, I said that I was never gonna do hair transformation again. However, I lied to you guys because today I'm going to be trying out a perm. <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a very, very long time now and will not be doing this myself, spoiler alert. So hopefully this hair transformation will have way better results than the bleached hair transformation and my hair won't be falling out for the next several months. But honestly, I have no idea. Um, let's just go ahead and get started. Wish me luck. So, intro is all done and filmed. I look like this, and now it's time to come into the salon for a cute little haircut to start off this hair transformation today. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so guess what? Uh, I'm getting a perm later. Oh shit. <laughs> When did you decide for that, love? I've been thinking about doing it for a really, really long time now, and I just figured, like, because obviously every single morning, I, like, blow dry it and, like, use, like, a round brush to, like, curl it upwards, and then I use a little mini straightening iron to further curl it. So, obviously, I'm, like, manually curling my hair every single day. Yeah. And, like, but I don't like when my hair looks, like, perfectly Super curled done. and, like, and, like, quafted. Like, yeah. that is, like, not the look that I like. Like, I like when it looks messed up. I think so, yeah, I think so, too. To clarify for you guys, when I say I'm getting a perm, I am not talking about like like the super little ringlet curls that a lot of like the TikTok <laughs> boys get. That's not like the vibe. I want like loose, wavy curls, which you can do with perms. You just have to use bigger rods. No, yeah, I totally get that. And you always do like after I like fully fix it, you like it's completely mess it up. So every time again, it looks way better that way anyway. I'm so just scared. What if I end up with my hair falling out again? <laughs> like, I don't think that will happen. As long as the person like does perms often, she does. Then be fine. She does. She's like gorgeous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Trevor. Hi. How's it looking? It looks great. Hi, James. Are you rolling? I am. So it's currently 6.54 p.m. later on in the day. Had a lovely team meeting all day today, lots of phone calls, just ate a lovely dinner, and now my beautiful hairdresser is here. We're going to get a perm. And I'm so scared. Let's go downstairs. Ready? I'm sweating. Okay, you guys, this is Ricky. Hi. You nervous? Um, yes. Okay, what are you nervous about? Well, I, I mean, I've never had a perm before. Also, last time I did a major change to my hair, it was the worst decision that I've ever made. I bleached it and then it fell out of my head. Okay. So, it, that was like a year ago, so it's like it's all grown out. My hair's like healthy, good to go now. Perfect. But it was just traumatizing. Yeah. <laughs> We're definitely not gonna make you lose your hair. That's great. Just add a little, little volume to yeah. it. Yeah. I brought only like big rods, I'm still taking it out, but so there's this size and then I have a few other That's sizes like that we can look at. Yeah, this is, this is probably about the diameter of which like, I curl my hair in the morning anyway. Really? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think we should add, uh, we don't have to, but I think we should add one smaller one in between just to mix it up a little bit. Okay, I definitely trust you. Yeah, because I like every single morning I always blow dry it upwards and stuff, but I like curl it. I'll show you like what my hair usually looks like on a daily basis, but it looks like cute. Like this is like, I love how this looks right here, okay. but even like, I would love it even like more messy than that. Perfect. I want you to wash it with this shampoo because it's um, a clarifying shampoo. Gorgeous. So even though it's clean, I just want it to be super, super clean so Perfect. that I can get the curls in there. Okay, so, let's do it. Yeah. Hi. Okay, go on in. I'm coming. I'm oh. this all off, right? Huh? Mm. Oh, I suppose you should. Uh oh. Oh dear. What you doing? This is the conditioning. Um, washing hair with the shampoo. Mm. First time this week. 
<laughs> Shut up! I wash my hair. I actually wash my hair every day, which is usually not good. I, I, I do because I have to style it every day. Yeah. I have to wash out the stuff from the day before. Sometimes I'll have a really, really good day where like I wake up, my hair is like, I can just like, and then it like looks like the day before, but that's yeah. like maybe once a week. Could you do it one more time? What's it? What's it? Your rump looks round. Yeah. Oh, oh, I am not. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm just trying to get some creative angles. <laughs> Look at Queen. Yes. Oh, she's a queen. Queen's hair. <laughs> Did you see the reference photo? Yes. Like mm -hmm. Is that actually possible for him? Yeah, so that's why I'm asking like how he likes it because that is like very curl forward. Mm -hmm. So I'll do I definitely same. I hate my forehead more than anything, so I want to cover it up. Okay, perfect. That's why I always try to like use my little straightening iron and go like Whoa. Yeah, so then I'll I'll do everything forward. So we'll kind of mimic that. that Gorgeous. Photo. Love that. So as a hair professional, can I ask you a question? <laughs> would you would you say that James' current hair situation is considered Balding. <laughs> balding? What are you talking about? Dude, this is the farthest you, from balding. Would you say that the hairline is receding? Definitely not. Oh. I just have a big forehead. I've always had a big forehead. It hasn't gotten any bigger, thank God. Yet. It's a kind of response. I mean, the good thing about it is there are so many solutions now for like balding men. Like, they literally have like full glue on like hair installation pieces. That's so toupee, good. And they look if you so will. good. Like, yeah. really good toupees. Like, I could definitely fully shave my head and get like a gorgeous wig made, and nobody would ever know. And, oh my god, and if I got a wig made, then I could lower it and have a smaller forehead. Wow, just shave your head off. Oh my god, dude, I should just shave my head. Yeah. What are you adding to it now? So now I'm just making sure that this little string doesn't lay on the hair and create a little dent in the hair. <laughs> so I put these little these little things to keep it in place. Hold it together. Look like little zip ties. You see how that kind of just oh, yeah. that kind of mimics like a little bit of what mm -hmm. the curl will be. Yes. Oh my god, I can't even get that close. Jesus. So what the solution does is that it kinda it opens up all the bindings in your hair. So that's why we have it around the roll. Because right now when we put the solution on, your hair is kind of just like free floating. It sounds really weird. So then that's why it sits in this form. And then once we put the other solution on, it locks the bonds into the new shape. Oh. I'm your toe again. Just like a salon. Ew! <laughs> Smells so ew! <laughs> that is rancid. Look at this. Front to back, I'm sending bitches home like a heart attack. Mess with me and you'll wind up in a casket. I'm Dorothy or Toto. Get in the basket! I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, so this is what it's looking like right now. Obviously, soaking wet. Ricky is gonna put in some products in it that we're going to let sit overnight just because now that it's done, I can't wash my hair for 24 to 48 hours, which I have no problem doing. So I'm going to sleep with all the products in, let them soak, let the curls just really curl. And then I'll wake up and show you guys the final fully styled new James Perm in the morning, which I am so excited for. But before I go to bed, I do wanna say a major, major thank you to Ricky. She absolutely killed it. I'm gonna put her pop tag right there if you guys wanna check her out and follow her on her social media accounts. Bye. Yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna enjoy my night with my roommates and my new hair, and I will show you guys the finished results for our morning. Fingers crossed. Good morning. It is day number one. The Ooh, I'm trying to film a vlog clip, sweetie. Can you chill out? As I was saying, I have not looked in the mirror yet. I have not looked in my phone screen yet. Because <sighs> I'm scared of what it's gonna look like after sleeping. Ouch! The door. <laughs> Stop! Oh my god, okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Ew. All right, you guys, good morning. Um, out of bed officially into the bathroom because it is time for me to take my first post perm shower. Yesterday was actually my first day with the perm. I wore like a hair net basically all day to like keep it in. So today is my first day actually getting to wake up, shower, and then like hopefully styling it to look really cute. But I'm really, really nervous because I know that if you get a perm right away and you don't like it, you can just wet it in the shower and that basically like undoes the perm and puts it back to normal if you don't wait enough time. Like I said, it's been a full like 30 seconds 
six hours since I got it done. So I feel like I should be okay, but I honestly have no idea what my hair is gonna look like when it's wet. I don't know how it's gonna dry when I style it. So definitely really excited and also nervous to see what it looks like when I get out of the shower. So I'm gonna hop in, give it a nice little wash because this is looking busted right now and I will show you guys when I get out. I'm out of the shower and this is what my hair is looking like completely wet. Um, like there are definitely some pieces in here that are more curled than usual. Like especially up in here and stuff. Usually my hair is like pinned straight when it's dry. So this is definitely like more textured. Let's go ahead and try my process that I do in the morning with this nice little wet perm and see how she does. I just said out loud, I cut a slit into my eyebrow. I feel like that's very, that's like really I dramatic. Perm plus the slit might be a little much for everyone. No, that's <laughs> do it, do it. Should I do it? How do I do it? How do I do it? Fold, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. I think I need to, I'll just tweeze it out. No. Why am I doing that? <laughs> I'm already having a bad brow day today, so I might as well make it worse. I feel like this is a spontaneous decision that I'm gonna regret. I put brow gel in my brows, it's not gonna work. I just got it to look good. Maybe this is maybe this is a sign that it's not my time to have a brow Um, What do I say? Hi, I'm back. Hello, sisters. I am back in the studio with my permed hair. Uh, I bet you were probably expecting a little bit of a more dramatic transformation than what you are seeing. Uh, to be honest, I was too. However, I will tell you, I think I like it. It looks cute. I agree. Do you? Basically, like I said in the intro of this video, every single morning I have to sit in front of my mirror for like 20 minutes, curling every single individual hair to like get this type of look. And this morning, all I did was literally blow dry it after the shower, and then that's it. This texture in here looks fun. Like I like how like curly and like fluffy and wavy it is. Also, the front of my hair actually curling over my forehead, which is literally like I'm so happy about that. It's not even funny. So I think although this was not a dramatic transformation, it was a major success. I think I really like it. Yeah! All the things that I think that is, I guess, the end of today's video. So I Hope that you guys liked it as well. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and leave me a comment if you guys think I should do anything else to my hair. Like I said, after the bleaching situation, I refuse to do anything, but I guess we're now getting into a more experimental phase. So definitely want to hear from you guys whatever you think would look cute. If you've not already, make sure you click that bigger subscribe button as well and come join this sisterhood. I would love to have you in the family and also click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, all my social media accounts will be linked right here around the screen. And if you want to text me on my personal phone number for updates on videos, Videos, photos, merch, and so much more. My number is 310-905-8746. This video, sister shout out goes to sister Ani. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you would like to do the next video, sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my video links when they go live on Twitter. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.